All right, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be color grading this music video performance shot with the Sony FX30. I think it's FX or FS. Y'all tell me, I don't know. But basically, I want to push this camera and see, you know, what we can get out of this before we actually go into color grading this video for real. So I'm going to start off here by pulling out my scopes. So we're looking at our scopes here. We pull up the exposure just a bit. And the first thing I notice, even though I'm wearing shades, still noticing right this is what i don't like about crop sensors so when you start to pull colors the shadows start to fall apart and being a user that shoots predominantly on full frame cameras i never have this issue like it's always cleaner in the shadows compared to crop sensors crop sensor just can't handle post-production stuff i think so i would never really choose a crop sensor over a full frame just because of this kind of stuff like i want my shots to be clean and i'm not going to ever sacrifice quality Give me the full frame let me have a cleaner quality video so i'm gonna hide that by pulling the shadows down that's how you hide the noise you know in case in case you was wondering i'm gonna blend the highlights and the shadows with the contrast over here so i'm just randomly doing this just so i can get a feel for you know what this file or footage is like i'm gonna come down here to curves and just play with the curves a little bit see how far i can get away pull this down just a little bit pull the highlights up Pushing and pulling until, you know, it fall apart to see, you know, where the limits are. So I'm going to add a lot on top of this just to push it some more, right? I'm going to file. A lot really ain't too bad at all, to be honest. Let me turn this off. That ain't really too bad. So let's look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is the after. This with the light. I like how the light complement the footage and the grid I was going for so even though it's a crop sensor and you know it wouldn't really compare next to a full frame I would think right even though what I think this is 4k and all that stuff but me personally I would always choose a full frame 4k camera over a crop one just so when it comes to post-production my videos can look even cleaner so if you would like to try this LUT this should be in the music video LUT pack bundle go ahead and pick it up and try it out on these you know Sony cameras and tell me what you think I think for the most part, I was able to get the look I was going for. So, I mean, with that being said, I'm satisfied. I'll pull this up a little bit more just to see where it's going to break. So maybe up to two. It's like the highest I'll go. So, yeah, I want to hear from you. Let me know if you guys color grading Sony, you know, files. Let me know what you think of the LUTs if you are using them. And, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe. And I'm out.